Hello friends, it's with great pleasure I want to tell you that uh, we have with us Suyash. So Suyash is ranked 2 in uh, NEET SS medical group. And it's a very emotional moment for me and the entire search test team because we just entered into the medical specialties a few months ago. And uh, we came out with a fantastic question bank, uh, the Harrison based radio edition. And Suyash right out of the blue text me one day saying that he's got ranked 2 in medicine and literally I was floating. I don't know how Suyash felt uh, when he got his rank, but I was literally uh, floating when he uh, spoke about his rank. How does it feel, Suyash, to get ranked? Too? Sir, it feels great. Actually, I was not expecting, uh, uh, even after the exam, I was not expecting to get such a good rank. I was maybe, I thought that maybe I'd get in the top 100, top 50, so, but not definitely not, not expecting the top 10 rank. So, it definitely feels great. And, like I always wanted to, uh, you know, uh, pursue super speciality when I was in MD. So, um, I like it. De definitely, it's something which I all, uh, which was always at the back of my mind. So it feels great. Definitely. I think your family must also be delighted with this. Yes, yes, sir. Actually, my parents are doctors, so they are very happy. Uh, great man, great man. Uh, so, Suyash, uh, tell me more about yourself. Uh, when did you do your undergraduation and when did you do your post-graduation? I did my undergraduation in the BJ Government College, uh, Medical College, Pune. So, I am from Pune. Uh, I did my uh, uh, undergraduate MBBS uh, there in uh, BJ Government College. And then uh, I did my MD from KM, GS Medical College and KM Hospital, Mumbai. And Great, man. So, the pedigree is fantastic. BJ and then KEM. So, fantastic for pedigree. So, Suyash, uh, what do you want to do after this? What specialty do you want to take? Uh, I wanted, uh, I want to pursue nephrology. Uh, actually, I like there were two or three branches. Uh, I, I actually like medicine itself, but I, in the amongst the sub super specialties, I like uh, endocrinology, nephrology, and uh, even infectious disease to some extent. But the thing was that I felt that nephrology you could get uh, inpatient care. OPD patients as well as critical care and I felt that there were uh, procedures as well as consultations so I felt, I felt that it is a uh, very balanced branch and uh, there are interventions and there are there is consultation and I, I, I thought that uh, it's, it, it's a great branch overall and it's quite related to medicine also so we used to see a lot of cases in medicine whereas uh, Maybe not so many cases from uh, endocrinology. And, uh, so I felt that nephrology was the way to go. Right? I think it's a fantastic choice. One of the key mentors, uh, Dr. Nath, um, is also a nephrologist. So he's a mentor on such things. So, uh, so yeah, tell me how, more about your preparation. So, how long have you been studying? How many hours per day? Uh, actually, I was studying for my MD exam. Before, uh, because my MD just got over this year in June. So before that, I was not that much uh, focused for the uh, this MCQ pattern. But actually, uh, for whatever I was studying was more for this uh, MD uh, exam. So the, like whatever we require for the theory and practical exam. So I was studying for that, and actually I given my MRCP uh, part one and part two. Yeah, meanwhile, in, during MD, I cleared both both of those. So I think for those, the, but the pattern of questions for that was slightly different. But nevertheless, I feel that that is also it. And the re real preparation was uh, after my MD exam. So then uh, I started like I used to solve MCQs even from the search test app. Then I even I had uh, 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 appeared like participated in many of the quizzes which you conducted. So even those, and I used to solve MCQs and bookmark whatever I felt was important. And then I used to read the books uh, and then try and solve MCQs and then see which are the which are my weaker areas and uh, focus on those. So actually, the real preparation started uh, after uh, my Your, uh, after June, July. Yes. So with like June, June, uh, maybe. Mid, mid June onwards, someone June, July, and August. Like, so, so Suyash, uh, how did you find the search test app? Uh, 
uh, for your preparation? What is the quality of the MCQs? How is it? I feel that it's a great app, and then when, yeah, actually the good thing was that you kept on adding the MCQs. Like uh, after uh, the 21st edition of Harrison, uh, like uh, it came out and uh, it was released. So I think that is the point where you actually added many MCQs. So I felt it's great. And actually the advantage of the search test app is that you have a lot of filters in that in the MCQ section. So you can choose, uh, you can attempt only uh, those questions uh, which you got wrong. Or you can uh, attempt only the bookmark questions. Then you can attempt, uh, sometimes you can, you, you if you feel that you are weak in a particular topic, so you can attempt only uh, questions from that topic. I feel that all these filters, they are a great help. So, if, uh, otherwise the question bank has more than 3,000 questions. So, you can just filter out whatever questions you want and you can solve them whenever. So, I think that's a great option with the, with the search test uh, app. What was the, how was the quality of the questions uh, in the app, uh, Suresh? Like yeah, uh, the quality, quality of the questions of the app. Sir, I think it was great and actually when you la launched the 21st edition based questions, so I felt that you, you had actually changed the pattern slightly. So they were more, I, I, at least that's what I thought, that the questions uh, based on the 21st edition of Harrison, they were more clinical oriented. So some, something which we even got to see in the uh, uh, NEET SS exam, actually the questions uh, were not uh, direct one-liners in the neat SSE. They were one-liners. There was a good share of those questions, but there were a lot of clinical questions too. So I felt that uh, you tried to incorporate, you anticipated that such questions might be expected, uh, more clinical-oriented questions. So questions were not, even in the neat questions were not maybe that difficult as would be expected in if the exam was based on a single specialty. But the uh, questions were more clinical oriented and uh, uh, like uh, they had given case scenario. So that is what I think you anticipated that way. Well. Uh, yeah, I think that's a huge validation for the entire content team. So they are going to be extremely happy when they hear this because uh, ours is a very small team. Uh, and uh, oh, I think the entire team has done a good job with regards to the question bank and also the pace at which they responded. Uh, as soon as Harrison 21st edition was released, we started working on the question bank. I think uh, I think the entire kudos goes to the team. Uh, Suyash, I think uh, hey, you, you have been absolutely brilliant overall. And, uh, you know, uh, I think your insights have been very useful to uh, the students. What advice would you give students who are starting to prepare right now? How would you ask them to study? What resources would you ask them to choose? What I feel is that, uh, sir, is that uh, students should, you know, utilize uh, the reading and whatever simultaneously they should keep solving MCQs. I think there's no single approach. I don't think you can solve only MCQs, you can only read or you can only, uh, you know, list, watch videos or whatever. I don't think there's any single way like that. So I think you should do a mix of both. So what happens is that if you are reading too much or if you are watching too many videos and you are not solving MCQs, you don't actually, you know, know how to respond to some question like uh, this, this whole art of solving MCQs. I think uh, that is the whole key according to me because there were a few questions in the exam, even in this exam or like other tests which I gave or questions which I solved, which I actually had not known those conditions or uh, which I encountered, but they, I could answer them just by eliminating that these options do not fit. So I think that practice of MCQs is also important, but you have to combine that. So if, you are, uh, if you are weak in a particular area, then probably you read first, maybe get a better hold of that area and then you solve MCQs. If you feel that you are already uh, based on your MD knowledge or your previous knowledge, you are good enough, then you can directly start off with the MCQs itself, then review them. So I think you have to individualize your strategy and I think it should be a mix of both uh, solving and uh, learning. Because if you uh, give too much time on uh, uh, reading and uh, seeing videos, you don't know actually whether you can apply that for solving questions. So I think that should be a mix. Yeah, I think I think that's been very insightful, uh, Suresh. So, where do you see yourself a few years down the line? Where do you want to be? What do you want to be today? Uh, 
I sir, I would definitely I'll uh, take up nephrology and uh, I'll uh, I mean I would like to after uh, my course is completed I would like to practice in uh, Pune city itself. Great man, great, great. Uh, Suresh, I think uh, it's been a very emotional and a roller coaster moment for the entire search test team as well as much as it has been for you because uh, for us it's a huge validation. Um, we used to have quality content in surgery and we are a very small student run organization. So, we you know, we should enter medicine and we should be able to give a good quality uh, product in medicine as well. And uh, your rank, your efforts, we also got to know that Anuj who got rank one is also a search test user. And all these things kind of, you know, uh, reinforce the fact that we are doing a good job and we should continue to keep doing it. And Suyash, I think uh, you have been absolutely brilliant and fabulous. And I thank you so much uh, for being here with us today. All the best for your future from the entire Search family. Good luck.